Hi, I'm John Veely, President and Lead Counsel of OnlineVisas.com, the global immigration practice that's moving the world. Let's talk visa strategy. Today's visa is the O-1. This is for the extraordinary ability uh, person that is coming to the United States to work within their profession. The O-1 is based on a couple of things. There's a number of factors. Meeting three is sort of the minimum requirement, but it can't be just meeting those three. You must also establish that this person has risen to the top of their profession. So there's a number of these categories are whether they have won a national or international award. Well, that can be utilized and thought of in a couple of different ways. For example, if this is a coach, did they coach someone to win an international award? Maybe they won Wimbledon. Maybe they won the U.S. Gymnastics Championship. Any of those things can apply if you have the evidence to support them. Another category is membership in elite associations. This requires looking at the association and seeing if there's a threshold. This does not work if you're just a member of, say, the association for your industry. Anybody can get into those if they're in the industry. It has to have a threshold. It has to be difficult. And there have been experts that uh, appointed the person to it. The next one is publication about the uh, individual. Now, these publications have to be either major media, which is like Newsweek or uh, New York Times or Time Magazine, or trade journals, right? Now, this can be the visas or, I'm sorry, the websites or the publications that deal with um, that specific, specific industry. Um, the other things that they need to, to meet are judging the work of others. If they sit on a panel or individually to do that, as long as their job isn't to judge the work of others. Coaches can't take credit for this because that's all they do. But say a tech person that's put on a panel to look at other tech companies absolutely can do that. Another thing they can look at is high salary. If this person has a salary that's higher than others in the profession, that can also be credited. A catch-all are major contributions that, uh, that the person may have uh, done. You can look at things. Um, we like to say what would be, um, say, at a cocktail party or in your eulogy if you died. What have you accomplished? And what are those things and how have they been significant? Um, a lot of things that we will do um, is to get experts to talk about these contributions and others and talk about how they meet these specific qualifications. Other things uh, besides contributions uh, can be whether or not someone has published um, an article or a book themselves within their industry. Uh, immigration wants those things to be scholarly or technical, so blogs aren't really sufficient, but others can be. So those are essentially the criteria. If this person's risen to the top, as in indicated by experts, that can help. Now, we look at OVs as having three types of evidence. There's... Um, initial evidence or primary evidence, and these are things, think of them like bricks. This is an article. This is an award. These are things that are not based on opinion. The secondary type of evidence are opinion letters. These are experts. Now, an expert cannot be within the circle of influence, but needs to be somebody that has some independence that can look at the evidence, the primary evidence, and determine whether or not that helps this person meet these qualifications. The tertiary type of evidence. The third level of evidence are pieces of evidence that support either the primary piece of evidence, the award or the uh, scholarly article, or can support the individual expert uh, that's talking about them and give more credibility that way. Putting all, the, all the, together, these are highly subjective visas, but if you do it the right way, you can get an O-1 visa. They're good for up to three years, but can be extended in perpetuity, and they can lead to, although it's not an automatic deal, the EB-1 Extraordinary Ability Green Card. A lot of people don't realize it, but those are similar standards, but it has to be more sustained and just a higher level for the EB-1, but an O-1 is a good way to get there. This is John Veely. If you want more information, check out onlinevisas.com or contact us for a free strategy section. Glad to go over your situation or your employees and help you uh, make a determination whether you can get this visa. We can also help you determine whether or not you want an agent-based visa or if you want it directly through an employer. An agent-based visa allows the extraordinary ability person to work for multiple direct employers um, and not be just limited to one. We can talk about all of that. Uh, we'll give you a flat fee price if we can do it, and we guarantee our work. So if we decide to take your case on and it doesn't get approved, we'll do it again for free. I'm John Veely with Online Visas, and thanks a lot.